Welcome back all to Tempered Power. This one is co-located with the Woodland Stable. So this shrine is actually a pain in the butt. Uh, I'm going to show you guys tricks to get these treasure chests, all of them. And it's worth it because it's a giant ancient core at the end. So for now all we're going to do is get our uh, sledgehammer out of this here treasure chest. And what we're going to do is you'll notice this stripe of tile here in the floor. We're going to get ourselves, and you might actually want to remove the, uh, the Ganon armor because the cape kind of gets in your way. Actually, we're going to put on the regular trousers so we can see where our feet are better. So what we're going to do for this one is get right smack dab in the middle of this stripe. So take your time, line yourself up good and centered. And what we're going to do is we're going to put that sledgehammer on, two-handed weapon, use stasis, five slots. Five slots, folks. No more, no less. That should plop right on in there for us. Okay, that's going to open up our first passageway. Okay, same deal. This one's only going to take four slots. Save the wear and tear on the weapon, just hit it four times. Okay, there's one more treasure chest, and this is the one that's really difficult. I'm not going to lie, you might have to try this one a few times. Okay, same idea folks, get yourself right in the middle of this little stripe that's on the floor. But not dead center. We're going to go slightly to the right this time. Just a hairline fracture to the right of dead center. And I think I'm there now. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and swat this one. This one we're going to hit five times with the sledgehammer. And then one time with a one-handed weapon. Because five hits isn't enough. And six hits with the sledgehammer would be too many. So count them out. One, two, three, four... Five. Switch over to a one-handed weapon. Rusty broadsword will work perfectly. One swat. And assuming you aimed yourself properly, that'll go right on in for you. Okay, so like I said, notice where my feet are on that stripe. I'm slightly to the right of where dead center would be. Uh, just a hairline fracture. If you're over a little too far to the right, it's going to miss to the left, and if you're exactly dense center, it's going to hit that post out there and get veered off course. It's very frustrating. Uh, just, you know, stay with it. You'll get it. Uh, just be aware it's going to be frustrating. Go ahead and tech refresh your sledgehammer while you're at it. And giant ancient core, baby. Alright, so to get on out of here, you just got to take the elevator back up. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and hold on to that until something better comes along. Something's better than nothing, I always say. And when we're done in this shrine, I'm going to warp back over to the Croc Forest, pray to the Goddess Statue one more time for yet another... Uh, yeah. Stamina Vessel. <laughs> 